here it is, guys. If you were on the fence, get off of it. Go online or go to your store and play one of these. Or go online and just buy it. You'll have to take my word for it. And hundreds of thousands of others that have bought these things over the years. Now, I can't attest for the past several years, but for the past few years, I've been seeing bullet tellies. Uh, people saying, get it. Don't get the, uh, don't get the, you know, get, the affinities are good, but like because of the price, if you can find something cheaper, get it right. That the bullets, because it's the bottom of the line, people, you know, are going to be a little bit iffy. Don't be, don't be, um, maybe, maybe they're using cheap pot metal or whatever like that. Doesn't affect playability. Doesn't affect tone to me. Feels great. The only reason I'll upgrade anything on this will just be for something to do and to make it my own or whatever for fun and to learn. Um, so fear not that this is probably one of the cheapest guitars that you'll find online right now. Well, with a with a reputable name, Squire. So yeah, this is definitely a, a keeper. And by the way, SpongeBob, he's passed out. If you're not familiar with my channel, Sp SpongeBob, I don't know what he does when we go out for walks or whatever. He comes back, I come back and he's face down on the floor. I don't know. Maybe Joda's giving him hell, but uh, yeah, just a little joke there. But guys, this thing is beautiful. I love it. Uh, and at this point, I've got too many guitars. I'm probably gonna have to let some go, and it probably won't be this one. So uh, I don't know, man. And just like I said, I was gonna let that other guitar go. That uh, that 103 QM, that LTD ESP HSS with the Floyd Rose Special. Uh, that thing's just I'm loving it too. Um, it's funny what a professional setup can do to a guitar. I'm learning that now. Um, uh, it's just really weird, you know. Like I said, I'm still new, so I'm still a beginner. So any other beginners out there and you're on the fence, you're not sure what guitar, uh, you know, to buy. This isn't like automobiles so much, man, you know, like uh, a Yugo. You know, the wheels will fall off. This thing, you know, I mean, I'm not saying a tuner won't fall off at some time or whatever, but this thing, the, the, the part that matters is they say it's base wood, bass wood. Either way, if it is or if it isn't, I think it's alder because uh, the weight on this one, when I was talking to somebody online a couple of weeks ago, he said, you'll know if you get an alder when it'll be heavier. And mine's alder then if it goes by the weight because he says... You, it says he goes it'll be the shipping weight will be like i don't know they said like 10 or 11 pounds mine shipping weight was 16 pounds so don't i don't i don't know guys i have no idea but i don't want to spread misinformation the box is back there but i could probably check and see let me see i got a little slip here see what the weight was if it says um it just talks about um, I don't know. Exchanges and refunds. But this thing has a little tag, had a little tag on it. I just took it off. Um, it was inspected and set up and intonated. I don't know if they always did that, but guys, you gotta, you, you gotta do it for yourself, man. Don't go out there and spend a whole lot of money on an American one or uh, made in Mexico, or even a, or whatever, if, if you're not sure if you're going to like a telly or not, you know. But this, it's the first telly I've ever really played, so I, I wouldn't know. Uh, I just know that this feels very playable and very inspiring to play. Um, I get different tones out of it, other than, like, my strat. It just seems a little bit louder, and it even sounds kind of stratty in some, in some senses. It's just really weird. Now, what I want to do is since this thing was so cheap i want to make it a baja strat or whatever that i want to put that middle pickup in here and then maybe put a humbucker in here uh just to make it my own you know and give you a little slight different tones um but yeah if you're on the fence don't be this thing's great there's i need to polish the frets that's it the only thing i could think of was that the frets need to be polished because it was rubbing a little bit can you hear that? Well, I've played it now, so it's not as bad. Hear that? Yeah, so it's not bad, guys. I mean, this thing is just like... 
it resonates nicely. It holds tune good. And those tuners feel just like my Mexican tuners. They just don't say Fender on them. And this thing's intonated, out of box. Check that out, right? The string spacing, 42 millimeter nut. I like that. Anyway, um, Yeah, beautiful. Got the uh, string through body, like I said. Here's the thickness. Not very thin, like I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's just a hair thinner, right? Got the st skunk stripe, real, real skunk stripe. And if I didn't know any better, I would have thought this was rosewood. So they say it's Indian laurel, but I don't know if they, because that's CITES has been dropped. And you know what's really sad? I wanted the Lake Placid Blue, and that thing's shipping now. It lied. It said it was going to take an extra 30 days. But anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this video now. This is a if you should buy or should you buy or if you're on the fence. Jump off. Go buy it. Pickup sound good, too. I'll leave a little demo at the end. You guys take care. This thing's wonderful. Go check it out. Peace.